These are the top six podcasts that you might not have heard of. At number six, we have Cancelled Movie Report. Cancelled Movie Report is a documentary podcast series that looks into and brings to life all the best movies Hollywood never made. From Nicolas Cage's infamous Superman movie to Arnold Schwarzenegger's medieval epic crusade, these movie projects will blow your mind. Using a full voice cast, soundtrack, and special effects, they try to recreate the movies as accurately as possible to find out once and for all if they would have been any good. It's the closest you will ever get to seeing these cancelled films. They are fast approaching the top of the shaft, jagged and deadly. Superman nonchalantly checks his nails on his free hand. Lex jams his eyes shut, then Superman stops, thus stopping the car as well. Luther's head is a half inch from the nasty spike. You're hardly worth the effort. He drops le- Moving on to number five is Misery Point Radio. Misery Point Radio is an interview-based artist spotlight podcast. Host, overlord, Mike Peacock, guides you on a journey through the wasteland to hear the epic stories from the artist firsthand. While there is an emphasis on music and musicians with tons of metal, Misery Point Radio also features interviews with all kinds of artists, filmmakers, writers, actors, illustrators, podcasters, and various minions from the pop culture universe. Check your shoes. You just stepped in a pile of awesomeness. Leave here, you know. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what I write about a lot of the time. Some sometimes I'll I'll write my stuff about you know uh, Egyptian uh, based on Egyptian. Of belief like what they what their belief systems were you know like on on the god system continuing down the list at number four is pittsburgh nerd podcast hosts sean and ian discuss the latest in pop culture the things they love food music and really anything else that strikes their fancy with more than 220 episodes and a plethora of accolades Pittsburgh Nerd is a must-listen-to show for anyone who resides in the Pittsburgh area. And for those of you who are unfortunate to live outside the Steel City, well, it's guaranteed you will find their charm, knowledge, and stories to be a reason to subscribe. Actually, like, like, more, I mean, more importantly, like, I, I, even if you wanted to reboot the others, I'm fine with that. But Charlie Cox is Daredevil, and Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin need to be in the cinematic universe. I agree. You know. I think they're the strongest of the bunch. I mean, yeah. Jessica Jones is pretty bad, too. Right. I'll agree with but, you there. But I'm... At number three, we have Bridging the Geekdoms. Starting in 2017, Robert and Colton wanted nothing more than to have an outlet where they could spark some fun conversations talking all things nerdy. Over the better part of five years, the show and brand has grown more and more, becoming an outlet where all are welcome. Besides reviewing movies, covering the latest rumors and news topics in film and TV, Bridging the Geekdoms also conducts interviews with cosplayers, content creators, and insiders who have found a way to turn their passion of all things geek into something more than a simple hobby. Bridging the Geekdoms is about bridging all geekdoms together in one place. Kevin Feige says, and it's like, guys, just because Nerd. Kevin Feige says it's MCU doesn't have, mean it's automatically good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Captain Marvel exists. <laughs> Just saying, and that's part of the MCU. I, I have a feeling that's going to be the next episode is a Captain Marvel episode, sadly. What if she didn't suck? Ah, uh, well, I'd definitely watch that one. I'd probably <laughs> like it, too. What if it was Mila Kunis instead of Brie Larson? Mm. You can't say that, though, because you're just... You just... And number two is Pulp Culture Corner. The Pop Culture Corner podcast and YouTube show is a place where all members of the pop culture community are welcome. Reporting on news, discussing rumors, and interviewing individuals from movies, shows they love, Pop Culture Corner is a one-stop shop for all things pop culture. Sorry to stop the conversation like that, okay. but uh, Dial, what do you think of the current regime of DC and Warner Brothers and, and, and what they're trying to do uh, with this multiversal uh, uh, take on their characters? Um, uh, as far as the regime, it's a, it's a circus. It's a, it's a straight up circus. Um, I don't know how to feel about their plan. And at number one, we have Spoiler Country. Debuting in July 2017, hosts John Horsley and Kenrick Regan have taken the podcast world by storm. In just four years' time, 
a little podcast that started off as two friends talking about comics has exploded into more than 700 episodes of interviews with some of the greatest minds in the comic, film, television, and music industries. With guests like Todd McFarlane, Kevin Kiner, Emily Swallows, and Jim Cummings, it's guaranteed you will find an episode that suits your taste. Dr. Molina, we're probably going to control as Dr. Octopus, right? It's amazing. That's a freaking, I mean, he was, he was, I mean, I don't know. Willem Dafoe was great, but I still say that no. Alfred Lane was better. Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 is still one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. It's the greatest live-action Spider-Man movie ever made. Yeah, well, yeah, it's definitely that. And, and and I would contend it's one of the greatest just superhero movies. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So we definitely saw him. They...